All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to make a character turnaround. So you have to pick one of your three characters and pick one that's probably the easiest to do. Um, if it's like, depends how you animated or drew it, I should say. Um, so pick your easiest to do. So you're going to do uh, two poses other than the original pose. That's your goal. If you're able to get to three, that's awesome. If you're able to get to four, go for it. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick the lasso tool. This is why I wanted a transparent background. So I'm going to turn off my current marching ants because they're already on. So it doesn't really matter exactly. It's just don't get the letters. Okay. So and then close it off. I'm going to go command C or copy. And then I'm going to create a new document. And I'm going to go and create uh, probably uh, eight and a half by 14. So legal size, what you're going for. If you don't see it, click on print. And over here, and I would prefer in landscape format, which is like this. So I click create. And the first thing you want to do is again get rid of the background. So use the magic wand tool. And you have to make sure you unlocked it, which I did. And I'm going to click Command D to turn off the marching ants. I'm going to click Command V to paste my character. So right away, notice he's a little bit too big. So I'm going to go with Command T and I'm going to shrink him so that he's a workable size. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I press enter to get rid of, well, you know what, maybe command T a little bit smaller in case I make three. And be careful because you could shrink them like this. One of the tricks is click the shift key so he maintains proportions. And let's say I'm happy with this and I might make, I might have room for maybe three. If I, I know I want three, I'm going to move them over here. Uh, I may only be able to make two other animations. Make sure you don't cut it off down here. So press enter. And so um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer that I'm going to use this layer. And maybe you want to write it in here and you go, this is kind of like your dimensions, all right? Might be useful to write it just because it's hard to see once you've done it. I'm going to go Command Plus to see this character a little bit more. And what I want to do is mark out the main uh, aspects of him here. So I'm going to go click my brush or you could use the pencil tool if you want. It's a little bit more precise. So I'm going to just click, hold the finger, oh, it's underneath here. And so I'm going to go, I want the top of his head, so I'm going to click, click, shift, and now that's not thick enough. So I'm going to go here and make sure it's thick enough so that I can actually see it. So let's try that again. Click, shift. Maybe that's too thick, but I'm going to go, it's good enough. Go the whole length of your sheet, because if you're doing more than one character, you want to have all your sheets. So I'm going to draw all these out and I'll be back in a second. You can see I drew all the lines where I felt the main lines of my character. I could have done the eyes, but I just felt I could probably draw them without doing that. I, the star, I didn't want to do it. I just, the belt, I did want. The bottom of the pants, really important. The bottom of the foot, you know, it's not perfect here, but I decided to go there. So the next thing is using the same technique you, you did when you were problem solving to draw this character, you want to think of that, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I had started with a circle. So I want to go with that for this character. So I'm going to use the ellipse tool. And I want to make sure there's no fill and there's a stroke. And what I'll do is I'll click. So where is that top of that circle? It's about here. And I'm going to click here. And I am going to try. And, you know, you could go like this. You could, you know, now you're. I'm going to do the side profile. All right. So I'll pretend he's like round from the and. And I'm going to make them like this. I think for me that's good. If I'm happy with this, if it's not as thick, you can move this around here and you'll see it'll change. So maybe you need to adjust that. So I'm going to go about here. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to use the move tool before and make sure I place it closer here. You know, you want to squeeze them in. If there's anything, I could put it here technically, but if there's anything that might go behind them, I'll leave a little bit of space. So I'll put it right here. And I'm going to do my line work first. So my line work is, again, think problem solving like you did the last time. Do I need to create another layer? Do I need to rasterize this? I might rasterize this right away because I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm going to color it and all that. But uh, um, now I'm going to maybe start with, um, do I want to keep everything on the same line? I'm going to create the neck. So I'm going to grab my pen and click the B key for the brush. And I'm going to check the size of this. I'm kind of happy with this. And I'm going to create a neck. So what layer am I on? I'm on the same layer as I'm going to go with that. So you could decide to not do that. I'll leave that up to you. 
and I'm going to draw the head. Again, I'm using the lines here, and I'm kind of making that. It is a cartoon, so I want his head to stand out like that. Everybody's head kind of actually does that, neck or whatever. The man's head there, a little bit of a mistake. So we're going to, oh, i got to see the chin goes all the way down to this line. you got to take your time here. Try to, because uh, it needs to be a mirror image of this character, but on the side. And you're allowed a little bit of creative leeway here. So I could make it, he looks a little bit like a Neanderthal here. And that's fine. It's a character, uh, so I want that. And here I'm going to, I'm also going to do is a mask line. Uh, command Z again. So, you know, I'm going to tell him happy. I'm going to go along the line here. Remember, these lines here are going to disappear. If ever you want to make them disappear to see if it looks okay, you just click here, and you're like, eh, you know, I'm going to leave it. It's okay. Then I'm going to I'm going to turn it off, and I'm going to do his teeth. So let's do that. And again, we want the side view, so maybe we want to see the teeth like that. And I can go with the eraser tool and fix it after. The eyes are tricky. But this character is easy because of the way it's done. And maybe I want to have the star there too. Um, I'll let, you know, I went and got it with the shape tool. You can just add it in um, if you want. I'm going to go for, for going fast. I'm not going to bother. Okay. So I'm happy with this. Now I'm going to do the arms. And I'm going to create a new layer for the arms. Because I want them to be over the line so I don't have their race. So I'm going to go like this. And it's up to me how I do it. Again, I don't want any fancy hands. I want cartoon hands. And we're okay with this. And there you go. And I could turn the lines on. I'm going to draw his belt now. And I'm going to turn this off so I can see. Turn the line on. Okay, so I want a nice belt. I click the B key to go get the brush. I need to make sure I'm on the right layer. I select this. And then I'm going to make it look like it's going around a little bit. And like that like this and like that is that good i don't know let's have a look the lines kind of are in the way but that's fine and he has a chest kind of thing here do i want it sticking out you could you could uh, i'll leave that up to you or do you just want to leave a line that's fine um then i'm gonna do i want to uh, have the legs on the same as i think i'm going to put the legs on this layer I'm going to just go like this, like this, like this, make it go up. I might press the E key, go get my eraser, and just get rid of this line. And, you know, I did have a line here, so maybe I can leave a little bit of a line to give it sort of a, a feel. Um, now what I'm going to do is go turn this on, turn these off. So now I'm ready to start coloring. Well, before I color, I may want to do any fixing of like erase it. And I'm not going to do this for the purpose of the tutorial, but you may want to do that. So uh, and make sure everything's closed off. Like if you're not sure, again, you can use this tool and zoom, zoom in and make sure. I can see, well, I can do a little bit of eraser work quickly here. I got to make sure I'm on the right layer. Um, turn that off, actually. I can click on here. Oops, man Z. I want to be, I might just merge into these two right away. And then I'm going to go uh, right click on my pen. Right click on the pen is always a little tricky. Go right click, I'm going to merge these layers. And now I can go and do my uh, pen work, eraser work. So I definitely need to fix the brush work here. You can see there's, so click the B key. Close that, click the E key. Okay, E key up here too. And up here, we're, so we're cleaning it up. And that one looks, I'm gonna give it a little bit of B key just in case it's not closed off. I could refine this, I could erase this too here. And you know, fix, use the bracket key to shrink this maybe. All right, I'm pretty happy with this, except down here, B key. So you can't see it when you're far, but now I won't be able to, you know, you want to use the paint bucket tool. It shouldn't take forever. This is just a sketch. It's not like the final draft, if you like. So I'm going to move down now. I'm going to click the space bar. 
oh yeah, right here needs definitely to be fixed with the brush tool. So I'm going to do that. And maybe I want to use the eraser tool to show what doesn't look so rough here. And I'm going to leave that too. Let's say that's good enough. Is that close? All right. So now I'm going to go uh, Command minus, back up a little bit. So go get these colors from here. So I click the I key. I'm going to go get the pants. Then I click the G key. Okay. And then I'm going to click the I key. And I'm going to add that to here. Um, and you'll see it'll be behind because I made a layer. All right. So I'm going to go with uh, G key. And I need to do this one here too. You could put the star sticking out. I'll leave that up to you. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I click and then G. I'm going to do the arm. Ah, yeah, I merged it before. I should have erased it. That was a mistake. I'm going to go Command Z. Um, e, I'm going to have to erase this. I'm going to have to use the zoom tool. Give me two seconds here. Click the E key. I could have done that easily a while ago when I was uh, in my layers panel, but I forgot before I merged it. So now I gotta fix it, no problem. Obviously I can't have this in front here, it doesn't look good. The arms obviously in front of it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to I tool and G and G and command minus. I'm going to give them the skin color too. Um, so at the bottom here, I'm going to go G, G, and I'm going to go I here. And then I'm going to go G. And I need to go get my whites. And I'm going to go G. Probably have to click around a little bit here. So here's my side view of my character. Now I'm creating another one, minimum of two. So I'll leave these lines there. And then you could, uh, you know, command minus. And what I recommend is the three quarter pose, meaning forward as your more common pose. Now, you know, this is what's called the front view. Here's the side view. And the three quarter pose is the pose that he's like looking at three quarters towards you. All right. If you have any questions, please let me know.